Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I would like to show you how you can use drivers to animate objects and in our example the goal is to animate this reel here depending on the movement of the car. So whenever I move the car or drag it uh, along the y-axis I want to make sure that this little wheel here rotates accordingly. So this can be achieved with drivers in Blender. And let us first of all animate the wheel without the car body. Um, so we just have the wheel here by itself and whenever we move the wheel along the y-axis we want to make sure that it's also rotating. This is, can be achieved in a relatively simple way. So we want to have the rotation axis uh, should be x, the x-axis as you can see here. So we want to make sure it's rotating like this whenever we move it along the y-axis. And how can we achieve this? We just create a driver here on the rotation axis by clicking on this field here. Click the right button to open this pop-up menu and uh, select add drivers single from target and then you need to choose the target property uh, that you want to link with this rotation field. The target property is the Y location. So we click here on the Y location and you see the driver was created. This is indicated by ch this changed color here of this field which is magenta now and this indicates we have successfully generated a driver. And we, you see the driver settings here. If you click here in this um, little window here and open the side panel with the plus button on the drivers, you see that we now have this driver created for the wheel. And now we have to modify the expression. Uh, just type var multiplied with a certain factor. So whenever, so var, is, the var variable is related to the current value of this field, uh, the, the uh, y location here. And now we can, uh, we can move the wheel and you will see that the rotation happens accordingly. Unfortunately, it's rotating in the wrong direction. So we want to have the opposite direction. Therefore, we just type in a minus here to have a negative uh, value and then it's rotating along with the movement of the wheel. Now we want to link it to the parent object, to the car body. This can be done very easily. We just link uh, this wheel here to the car. We select the wheel with the right mouse button. We keep the, sh the shift key pressed. We select the body and then we press control P to set the parent object for the wheel, we say uh, object and keep transformation. Now the wheel is linked to the car body. And if I move <coughs> the car now, you see that nothing happens. The reason is that we need to link uh, this uh, driver field to, the, to, to a different object. We need to link it to the car body, not to the, uh, to the um, wheel anymore. So here when we have to select now for the driver value of the wheel, we don't select the wheel itself, but we select the car as the parent object. So whenever the car position changes, you see that here we uh, move the car, the corresponding wheel position is changing accordingly. So this is very handy and you can link uh, any kind of object to any other object. So for example, we could also create another object and just synchronize the movement between the car body and this other object. So this is maybe also something I can show you very quickly. Let's say we, we create another cube here. Um, scale it down a little bit. And we want to link the cube to the car motion. Then we can just do the same thing. We select the cube. We go on the location of the cube. So in this case, we want just to link the, the location of the cube with the location of the car. So on the cube, you can just click the right mouse button. You say add drivers, select from target. And we now select the same field here. 
but then we need to modify the target because we don't want to link from here to the car. So go into the driver um, field, don't select the cube, but select the car. And now the cube should be linked to the car. So whenever we move <coughs> both objects, you see that the cube is also moving accordingly. So the drivers are very handy to use and is a very, very powerful feature in Blender. And if you want to see the finished animation, just click on the link below the video and you will see the full movie uh, where I use the special effect in Blender. Thanks for watching.